What I'm doing today is basically filming this look. It is super basic and I really hope that I explain everything perfectly for you because this is for beginners. It's been a hugely requested look that I've done both on Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook. So all my social media platforms, I've done this you know, tutorial because I thought it's basic, it's easy, it's simple, step-by-step -step guide. And um, hopefully you learned something cool from it and you enjoyed the tutorial. So I suppose we'll just jump right in. Wait, before you jump right in, make sure that you subscribe wherever that is on the screen. I don't know, probably will never know where that is, but also click the little bell button. I also don't know where that is. Jumping straight in to brows, right? I'm using this brow pomade by Olivia Bell Beauty, who said lovely kindly kindly sent me this um, on Instagram, and I'm using a flat angled brush from Zoeva. I'm lining from the tip of my brow all the way to the tail, and then pushing that product up through because I don't want it to be too thick. So I'm just swapping that on through. Next then, I'm going in with my Brow Beater by L'Oreal and I'm just brushing that through my brow hairs. And then what I do is I do it exactly the same on the other eyebrow, simples. If you'd like a better tutorial than this, just leave me a comment down below and I'm sure I can film it for you guys. Using Select Cover Up by MAC in NW15, I mean, let's be real here, guys. How many times have you seen me carve out my brows? If you're new to my channel, then go to any of my previous videos and I'm sure you'll find one. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of doing like bread slicer motions. Maybe that's not the right technique, like wording to use, but I'm just working slowly in stages and I'm just going straight into that brow shape using the Select Cover Up and this Charles Fox Illusion brush. And I'm just carving into it using the shape of the brush to really help me get that structured brow. Now what I'm doing then is I'm just gonna pat that on through and I'm gonna use this concealer as a base for my eyeshadows. And to do that, I'm just gonna pat it on through the whole way over my eye and I'm just gonna work with it until it turns matte. It is as simple as. So using the Pro Artist Contour Shade in 02, what I'm doing is I'm going in with the Cosette S165 brush and I'm just starting placing that shadow down and building up the intensity using the back and forth motions. So I'm sitting the point of the brush straight into the crease and I'm just working that into the eye shape. So I'm not worried too much at the moment about the blending. I just want to lay down that color and really build up the intensity. I don't want the seam of that harsh line. See that harsh line there? I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fat part of the brush and I'm just going to start blending that back and forth, buffing it in in small circular motions to get rid of that seam. So now I'm going to go in with this Pro Artist Matte Eyeshadow and this is in the shade 08. Using the Crown C441 Pro Blender, I'm concentrating on darkening the outer corner. So I first dot the product on and then I use small circular motions to blend out the pigment. Picking up some more product and working my way through the crease into the inner corner, going back in with the Cosette brush then, I'm just cleaning the edges and making all the shadows blend nicely together. So again, I'm using the fat part of the Cosette brush to make sure that that's nice and soft and it just tapers off into the brow. Just note then, when I'm using the Cosette brush, I'm holding it far back on the brush handle, so that gives me less control over the brush, which is what I want. I want it to be nice and um, loose, so it's not too stiff. I'm not holding it like a pencil because that would be too structured and it will leave a line between the shadows. So for my carving out of the crease, I know I showed it in my last video, but I want to make sure that this is really simple for you to understand. So what I'm doing is I'm going straight in with that 
brush there and I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the concealer which is my select cover-up along the lash line like so so I'm just popping it on and then what I do then is I look straight up to the ceiling So when I look straight ahead, you can see that after I've looked up to the ceiling, it has kind of created that line for me so I know where my natural crease forms. So I'm working in small stages then, I'm gonna hug the inner corner of the eye and then I'm gonna start building up the line to meet where I looked up towards the ceiling, if that makes sense. So basically, looking up to the ceiling has mapped out that shape for me. So this is a little bit easier if you're struggling with building that shape of your crease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start following that around and then what I do is I go from the very last lash and I bring that up to meet the center as well. So it's kind of creating this half semicircle or sorry this semicircle so half circle I suppose shape on your eyelid. So what I do is I make sure that the center, so towards the inner corner of the eye, is nice and wet. And as I work backwards toward the last lash on the outer corner, it's starting to get a little bit more dry. So this won't cause texture, which is exactly what I want. So I'm just making sure to pat that all in place and that it's slightly matte, not too wet, but not too dry as well. So we're going back in with that darkest shadow now and the same um, brush from Crown, so the C441. And we're just tapping along um, the edges of that. So we're working from the back lash line, which is where we finished off our carve. And then we're working in towards, slowly in towards the inner corner. So as you can see, as I'm tapping, I'm not swiping, I'm not doing circular motions. I'm literally just tapping that product into the lid. As I work in towards the inner corner, the product is getting lessened, so it's creating a gradient for me. So I'm building up a little bit more product here, and I'm also making sure that I'm blending the edges as well, so I don't want there to be too much of a divide. Would it be one of my tutorials without me being out of focus? Obviously not. So what I did here is, although you can't see it, I went in with the Cosette brush again, a little bit more of that product from the transition shade, and I just tapped along the edges of that as well. Now here you can see again, sorry, but I'm just basically merging the two of these together, and it gives me that nice gradient. So I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow shimmer from Pro Artist again in the shade 01. For the shimmer on the lid then, I'm gonna go in and follow the carve along the inner corner using the same illusion brush that I used to carve out the lid. I'm gonna press the product around the hook of the eye and um, over the inner corner of the lid as well. For liner then, I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. So liner is something that a lot of people struggle with. So what I'm doing is I'm starting in the middle of the eye and I'm drawing like a thin line. What I do then is I bring the thin line from the inner corner to meet the middle line as well. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically mapping out the shape that I want first. And then as I gradually go on, I'm gonna start building up that line and also thickening it up as well. So as you can see, I kind of, little mistake here which is fine because I'm gonna make it thick anyway so I'm just building that up to meet where that mistake is and that just kind of gets rid of it so you're not to panic you can always even them up and um, obviously you just don't even them up the whole way I had a bit of trouble with the Kat Von D tattoo liner because mine is a sample one and um, so it's really tiny and it just was dried out and it was just a wreck in my head so it, 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 it kind of gets messy and then I have to fix it and all that kind of jazz so for the um, wing part then, what I do is I kind of go from where the end of the shadow is and I drag that to meet the middle again. So I'm always using the middle as a guide. Drag that directly from the bottom lash line to meet the top liner, if this makes sense. Then I'm filling it in. But you can see like when I'm filling it in that I'm really having like a trouble here. We're trying to get this stupid liner to like work and be like nice and pigmented. But it's fine, I just went in with any old little liner then and I just kind of fixed it all up. For lashes then, I'm using the Chelsea Lashes by Olivia Bell Beauty. 
So now I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Locket Concealer and this is in L5 Neutral. With that concealer then I'm just going underneath the eyes and I'm just swiping it back and forth and I'm going to use the but I'm using the sharp point on the Kat Von D. I love the teardrop on it. It's perfect for this like carving out of the wing. I'm going to use this Skin's Focus Sponge by Buff and Blend then and I'm going to use the pointed part of it and I'm just going to work that into the eye just bouncing it off the face. It's pretty basic. Then I'm going to go in with the same shadows that I used um, under, on top of my eyes. I'm going to put them underneath my eyes as well. And I'm just blending the lighter shade out until it kind of tapers off into the skin. I just kind of want it to just kind of flow off the skin if that makes sense. And then with the darker colour, I've just taken this angled brush by Nema Brush. It doesn't have a name so I don't know what it's called. Um, and I'm just dotting that along the lash line just to deepen the bottom lash line. I went in with this 205 HD foundation by Makeup Forever, same sponge from Buff and Blend, and I just dotted that all over the face. Now halfway through, I did realize that it's actually hell light for me. So then I just decided that I was gonna pick up the 215, which is just like a shade darker, or like two shades darker, and I just popped that on then as well. I just found like that worked better. What I do for this is because I want my skin to be slightly exposed, this foundation is perfect for it because it's so sheer. So I'm just basically bouncing that off the skin. I'm not worried about coverage, I just want to make sure that it's blended and it's not patchy. So I'm just basically working in stages. Again, I always work in stages and um, I'm just bouncing that off the skin. Always make sure that your beauty blender is wet though because if it's dry it just absorbs the product it doesn't work as well and um, i'm not being precise around my brows i didn't feel i needed to for contour then i'm using this kaylin ireland um i think it's called like the 3g contour palette or something but i'm using the lightest shade in it anyway and um, this duo fiber brush this is also from crown um, and I'm just working that in circular motions and I'm also bringing it around in like a little hook towards my nose So it kind of like flicks up towards my nose I started changing the way I contour my forehead So instead of contouring the whole way around in like a C from my cheekbones all the way up to like above my brows What I do now is I bring it from my hairline from like the middle of my hairline to meet like the middle of the arch of my brow If that makes sense so I'm just doing it in like a section, leaving a gap and then doing it in a section as well. I feel like it flatters my face a little bit more. Um, and obviously I have to contour the life out of my chin. I'm going in with this Urban Decay Sin and I was like, oh my God, like when I seen it, I literally died. It's stunning. I wasn't expecting that like at all. For the brows then, or not for the brows, sorry, for the faux freckles, what I do is I go in with the, um, what are they called? Um, the, oh my God, the precisely my brow by benefit. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just dotting dots all over my cheeks. Now I don't bring it too far. So I like stay within like my eyes space. So like between the edges of my eyes and in towards my nose is the only place that I kind of put my freckles. So, um, you know, this happened. I got irritated. That annoyed me. Anyway, what I do then is I go in with a beauty blender with no product on it. It's just whatever was left from doing my foundation. And I just bounce that on top and it just kind of mutes them a little bit. It softens them out, makes them look a lot more natural and nobody would ever notice. Like they look so good. So this is more like enhancing my natural freckles because I'm covered in freckles anyway. My freckles are just a little bit lighter. So I'm going in with Naz Ferratu by um, Kat Von D and I am just doing my lips. I love this shade um, and it's one of those shades that it doesn't actually make your teeth look too yellow. Um, but I, when I do wear red lipstick, I'm like, girl, I need to get that teeth whitening kit out, you know yourself. But yeah, I didn't find, like, I don't find with this particular liquid lipstick that I need a liner because it doesn't go sheer in any places. It doesn't go patchy. Um, so I just go on straight in with it and again I'm building it up slowly like I do just work really slowly when it comes to like building shapes or being like precise because there's just no point in rushing it I feel um, but yeah like I just love the way that this stuff makes my lips look so yeah so guys I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial hopefully you learned something cool today and maybe I helped you 
with a little technique or whatever I don't know so if you recreate this look please tag me in all your posts on Instagram using the hashtag Belle Makeup Artist and if you haven't already followed me please follow me on Instagram and Facebook both Belle Makeup Artist as well and if you want to see my day-to-day -day life follow me on Snapchat and that is Belle MU artist which is gonna be somewhere on the screen um so yeah I hope that you enjoyed this and if you have any requests for any other videos or anything please make sure that you pop them down in the box below and um I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye so if you recreate this look again and as always please tag me on it so if you recreate this look as always please tag me. So if you recreate this look as always, please tag me on your...